Lights out, Nina. You have to be up early for school tomorrow. Ow! <sighs> What's wrong? My tummy hurts. I think I overate your yummy dinner, Auntie. Oh no! I mean, I'm glad you liked it so much, but you should have had just enough for you. We call that self-control. Sometimes you have to stop yourself from doing something, even when you really want to do it. Because doing it might cause harm to yourself or other people. I see what you mean, Auntie. Hmm. I guess I should have had self-control with eating your yummy food today too. My tummy wouldn't hurt if I did. Exactly. How's your tummy feeling now? A bit better, thanks. I think the story helped. That's good. Now under the sheets you go. Good night, Nina. Good night, Auntie. I'm so excited for tomorrow. Huh? Where are the stars? What's going on with the sky today? Hmm. Maybe they're just hiding today. I'm sure they'll be out tomorrow. I can't wait. Come see my new business, Nina. I think my business hours are about to start. Just a minute. I'll be right back. Please wait here. Hmm. This is starting to look a lot like some of the places from my city. Do you need help? I think I got it. Ta-da! I present to you Kiduchu's fruit juice stand. Thank you, thank you. I've decided to try my hand at selling fruit juice on my street. See? There's a bloom of oranges in the market right now thanks to this brand new fertilizer that makes them grow super fast. So now, they are cheaper and I can earn some money to increase my savings. Way to use your brain, Kiduchu. What a great idea. Yes! Enough savings will make me be able to start helping buying some things around the house too. How nice! Anything I can help with? I can still stay for a while. Yes! Can you help me call the customers over? There goes one. Fresh juice, fresh juice! Come and get some fresh juice! It's affordable and nice. You'll want to have it twice. Fresh juice, fresh juice. Come and get some fresh juice. One cup, please. Ah, that'll leave just one more cup for our friend behind you. Mom, mom. No, Tua, there's no more. One cup is enough for you. Let's go. Mom, mom. Oh. I'm trying to teach her that sometimes we have to control ourselves so others can benefit too. We'll come back tomorrow, but one is enough for today. If you have more, the other kids won't get any. Let's go look at those colorful birds in the trees near Bibi's house instead. Well, you did say they would want it twice. <laughs>
Sometimes something can be so good that you can't control yourself and just want more, even if it might hurt you or others. I did the same thing yesterday with my aunt's food. I ate and ate until my tummy ached. She even had to tell me a story about self-control. Oh, I don't think I've heard of that story. Neither had I, but it's because my aunt heard it from my great-grandmother, who used the stars to tell it. Huh? Right? I was confused too, but my aunt offered to teach me how to use the stars to tell stories tonight. Oh, how I'd love to learn too! Sure, I could teach you! Phew, what a mess we've made! Yeah, unfortunately this happens sometimes, but I try to clean up around the house at least. Look how much I made today! I'm going to make so many savings this year if business continues like this. Also, if I have self-control and avoid spending it on things that I want now but which won't help me, like sweets and stuff, I can use it to buy even bigger things that will make me happier in the future, like a new dress. Good for you, Kiduchu. I'm going to start heading home. Okay, see you. She's choking. Let's help her. Pendo, are you okay? There's a lot of plastic being thrown around that is affecting our animals. Yes, one of my cows fell ill last week because she swallowed a plastic bag while grazing. What's going on around us? It never used to be like this. It used to be so clean and green. Our animals could always graze freely. I'm so thankful that Pendo is okay. I will have to feed her myself with some hay instead until we know what's going on with our land. Something is going on with the sky. It wasn't cloudy yesterday, but we couldn't see the stars. My aunt said we should have seen so many stars in the sky. She also said the sky wasn't like that when she was young. We need to find out what's going on. But who can help us? I know who can help. Mama Ndege. She's able to fly way up in the sky. She can tell us if she has seen them lately when she flies up. Yes, you're right. Let's go pay her a visit. Tiny Tambo, you don't look too well. I'm not well, Kiduchu. I haven't taken a dip or sip from the pond since yesterday morning. Why is that? There's something going on with the pond. It's turned green. What? what? Green? green? Yes. And my body got all itchy when I took a dip and my tummy really hurt after I took a sip. Now I don't know where to go to take a dip or drink water. Oh no! Here, I have some water. Take some. So, something's going on with the sky and the water? Hmm, that doesn't sound good. Hey, Tiny Tembo, we're going to visit Mama Ndege to ask her why we can't see the stars at night anymore. Maybe you can come along and ask her about the pond too. She might know what's going on. I'll take my chances. I'm still itchy. I need a bath. Let's go. Hey, Baraka. What are you up to? I'm not taking any chances with the grass. I almost lost Pendo. Something is going on with the land. The grass and soil aren't pure anymore. There's plastic everywhere. Some even deeply buried in the soil. What do you mean you almost lost Pendo? Well, she was grazing here yesterday and she took on a plastic... What's going on with you, Tiny Tembo? Oh, something's going on with the pond. It's become green. I can't take a dip or sip anymore. Oh no! So what will you do now? Well, 
We are all going to see Mama Ndege, hoping she'll help us figure it out. Because there's something going on with the sky too. There are no stars anymore. So, there's something going on with the sky, water, and land? That's a bit worrying. Hey, why don't you join us to visit Mama Ndege? She might know what's going on with the land too. Yes, 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 yes. Sure. I don't want to have to do this every day so my panda can eat. It costs a lot. Let's go. Mama Ndege! What's that ruckus? What's going on? Mama Ndege, the pot is green. I'm itching. Hold on. I can't do Hold on. Hold on. Let's exercise some self-control, shall we? Now, one at a time. What is going on? Mama Ndege, the sky has no stars anymore. They've all disappeared. Okay, okay. What's happened? First, calm down. Now, stars don't disappear from the sky. They are always there. We just don't see them if something's blocking them, like clouds. But there weren't any clouds yesterday. Or the day before yesterday, too. Okay, so then that means there's something else that must be blocking them. Like what? First of all, Tiny Timbo, you look like you need a serious bath. I know. That's why I'm here. But I'm exercising self-control until you help Nina and Kiduchu first. Ah, a fast learner. Take notes here, kids. Clean air is clear. So if we had clean air in the atmosphere, we would be able to see the stars through it. So that means there is dirty air in the atmosphere? Must be. So think of it as a window. When a window is spotlessly clean, you can see very clearly through it. But when a window gets dirty and dusty, you can't see through it anymore. There must be some dirty or dusty particles and gases that are in the air blocking it so we can't see through it to the stars. But where do these dirty particles and gases come from? Whoa! Uncle, Uncle T. T! Ah, I remember my experience with these dirty particles and gases. It made me lose my voice. Aha! I think those dirty gases come from the fuels that we use in all sorts of vehicles, like cars, buses, trucks, and motorbikes. In order for them to move, they have to burn fuel in their engines, and this produces the smoke we see. Way to remember, Kiduchu! Ah! That's probably it then! It's all the dirty particles and gases that we are releasing into the atmosphere that is blocking the stairs from being seen. Correct. We call that pollution. What is pollution? Pollution is when something is added to the environment that is harmful or poisonous to living things, Baraka. So it's us? We are causing the stars to not be seen? There are natural causes too, such as volcano eruptions and wildfires. But most of the air pollution is done by human activities. Yes, burning fuels to drive cars, burning woods to make charcoal or wood fire, burning trash and having a lot of factories that use fuel. All of these release dirty particles and gases into the atmosphere. Whoa, if we're causing it, then we need to stop it. We need clean air. Yes, you do. Polluted air can sometimes make it so we don't see the stars, but it also has some even worse effects. It can cause diseases too, like pneumonia, respiratory and heart diseases, and even cancer. Yo. Yo. Well, I guess that solves it for us. Oh, hey. Is this a party? Where was my invite? Hey, 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 hey. Hi! Hey, Kiduchu! I've heard people raving about your new business of selling fruit juice. Say, wouldn't you want a business partnership with me so I supply you with the oranges? Of course! That's a good idea, Gedere! But you need to get on the new fertilizer. It makes the oranges grow faster and bigger. They call it the green magic. Green magic? There was nothing magical about my green pond. <laughs> Clearly. Hmm? The pond is green, you say? Yes. That's why I'm here. 
I took a dip and sip in the green pond yesterday and I got itchy all over and now my tummy got sick. Pollution is when something is added to the environment that is harmful or poisonous to living things. Wait, that's probably it for you too, Tiny Temple. It can't be a coincidence that the pond became green after the people started using the green magic fertilizer. Ooh, ooh. you should be a detective, Nina. You see, sometimes using too much fertilizer in the soil causes it to end up in the water bodies when it rains and the rainwater goes from the soil to the water. The fertilizers have certain nutrients that promote the growth of very small living things called algae. The algae become so many that they cover the whole water body at the top, making it green. The algae also uses up the oxygen in the water. So the rest of the living things in the water do not get oxygen and end up dying. That explains the dead fish I saw floating in the pond. <gasps> we have to stop this now. There are more natural fertilizers that can be used to help plants to grow well and fast. Let's start using those. I remember that using soap and defecating in natural water bodies also poisons the water. So that's to say it also pollutes the water? Yes. yes. Water, water pollution. pollution. So can I say that Plastics pollute the soil? Indeed! That is called land pollution. And while anything like food waste and fruit pills also pollutes the land if they are thrown out all over the place instead of in designated areas, plastic waste is especially bad because plastic takes 1,000 years to be broken down. That's what happened to Pendo. She swallowed a plastic cup that was deep in the soil attached to the roots of the grass and almost died. Plastic cup, you say? Yes! Wow! I thought my plastic cups from my business were only making the place dirty, which I would clean up now and again. I didn't know that it can be harmful to others even 1,000 years later, especially if thrown on the ground. So, what can we do after we tell them not to throw it on the ground? Because if we burn it, we will be releasing the dirty particles and gases into the air which causes air pollution. Good job pointing that out, Nina! The the best way to deal with plastic is first to reduce the amount we use, then to reuse what we use, and then to recycle what's left. Oh! I think the best way for me would be to reduce it. I can provide glasses for my customers to use, and I can wash them and reuse them after. I don't want to add to the dangers that our animals face with land and pollution. Let's not forget that land pollution and water pollution can harm people too. When people drink or use polluted water, they can fall sick and litter also bring flies which can be carrying diseases. One thing is clear here. We humans can cause air, land, and water pollution. We have seen its effects and have heard other ways it could affect us too. We need to start taking action now to reduce it. I still want to be a part of Kiduchu's business, but I will use safer fertilizers. And I still want to learn how to tell stories from the stars. So I will spread awareness about air pollution. And I want Pando to graze freely and happily. So no more plastic cups for me. I'll definitely go to the Utu Club about all this. And I think they will help in cleaning up Kokotoa and putting bins around the neighborhoods. So people always have a place to throw their trash instead of littering. Wow, what a wonderful solution. We may be set in our ways, but with a little self-control, we can help each other. Yes, because the land, the air, and the are connected and we too are connected to our planet and to each other and, and that, that is, is what, what Utu, Utu is all about, all about.
what to do in your Utu clubs this week. First, each one of you should share something that they have trouble having self-control with. Remember, self-control is being able to control yourself. It can be controlling how you act because of what you feel, what you want, or what you want to do, even when it's difficult. <laughs> Mara zote, natamani kuendelea kucheza game hata ikiwa muda kuna. Nikiwa na hasira kuwa naacha kucheza na wenzangu. Ah. Labda unaweza kutulia na kutumia kupumzi ndefu kila napokuwa na hasira. Itasaidia kukutuliza. Asante. Mtajaribu kuimba nyimbo ninazozipenda. Huku nikisubiria watu wengine wafike kabla ya kula vitafuni. Ndio. Here is one of our Utu Club members practicing self-control. <laughs> Seems like he is waiting for everyone to be at the table before taking a bite. That wasn't easy, but he made it! All he had to do was practice a little self-control. Now it's your turn! You can register your Utu Club via WhatsApp to connect with Ubongo Kids and receive discussion questions, activities and more for your club. To register through WhatsApp, add this number to your contacts. Plus one two three four nine zero zero one two three four, and then send the word Utu to our Ubongo chat. That's plus one two three four nine zero zero one two three four. Then select Utu from the menu that you receive. We can't wait to hear from you.
What is mathematics? Mental acrobatics every day, all the time. Just use your mind. You use math when you measure. Width and length solving problems using mental strength. Use number operations like multiplication. The number you'll find is like magic from your mind. Math is a part of everyday life. Just add, subtract, divide, and multiply. Can you solve the problem? Did you get the answer? Just use your brain and you can do it, sir. Now, don't you rush it. Just take it slow. You must be careful. Don't you know? You use math for all things in life. When you eat ugali, you count your bites. In a parade, count the steps you take. Just listen when I rap. I'm using math. Calculate the distance when you drive your car so you will know if you have gone far. Here's something else for you to count. Can you count the teeth in my mouth? We can measure width, length, and depth and represent with X, Y, and Z. Math is useful for everything. Just do the numbers in your head. Now try to add up all the spots on my neck. How many do you see? And I even use math to get leaves off the tree. Never miss out on new Ubaldo Kids videos ever again. Subscribe today and become the first to know every time new fun educational content is available. Simply type Ubaldo Kids English on the search bar. Click on the Ubaldo Kids English channel page. Click subscribe on the right hand corner of your screen. What are you waiting for? You are three easy steps away from joining the Ubaldo Kids family.